welcome to Healthy Holidays, the day that we've been waiting for. Uh, many people have uh, helped and volunteered to make this day happen. So I first want to thank them, everybody behind me, and everyone who set up such a wonderful display of food and decor. So I just want to welcome you all this evening. And my name is Jackie Kemp. I am the Health Ministry Director here at the Chula Vista Seventh-day Adventist Church. Wow. And um, we are looking forward to showing you some of the recipes that are healthier alternatives for this holiday season. If you see in your recipe book, we have about 12 different recipes that we're going to go over this evening. So. I have a background in health education, and I was a former respiratory therapist, so I have a really strong interest in health. And during the holiday seasons, this health is a really big deal, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. People are looking to probably eat healthier, they're probably worried that they might overeat, overindulge, and maybe even get sick during this time because of what they eat and how much they eat. So we want to show you uh, what foods are healthier during this time. And I actually found a renewed interest in cooking because I am a new wife. So now I'm the one cooking at the house. And um, while my husband works, for, he's working right now hard as an ICU nurse. And I'm simply learning how to cook healthier. And um, I am joined by my good friend here, Earl Kapulin. He's from the island of Hawaii, and he is one of the best cooks I know, along with the rest of these cooks here. And he's ran a handful of classes earlier this year. Maybe some of you have joined that class. We have also at least 10 other chefs, as you can see behind us. And there are actually, in reality, about 20 cooks who cooked for you this evening. So you'll be hearing from them shortly. This year, Earl and I, um, we joined the Chula Vista Health Ministry. We were blessed to be sponsored to the um, Weimar Health Evangelism Training by our church and by the Weimar Center of Health and Education. So we were trained to be health evangelists. We've made some lifestyle changes in our own health, and we want to share that with you. So if you noticed at registration, there was a uh, box where you could check if you were interested in personal health coaching. Um, that's something we specialize in, and we're going to kickstart that in the new year. So make sure you left your contact information because we will be contacting you shortly. So some house cleaning first. Uh, water is at that counter, so if you are thirsty or if you need some water, help yourself. Restrooms are here for the women, and you have to go back outside for the men and make a right to the back there. And uh, everybody, if you need a cookbook, it's at the registration table. Um, this class won't be very long, there's not a lot of time. And at 7 p.m. we have a evangelism meeting. So don't eat and run. Make sure you go to the church over there and join us for Pastor Mark Fox evangelism series on biblical truths. And then, um, your favorite part, we'll go through each dish. Each person is going to tell you about their dish that they made, a health tip, health benefit, and a cooking tip, and then you guys get to eat. How does that sound? Okay, and while you guys eat, we will have, um, we have a special decorator who designed this table setting in the back here. Isn't that beautiful? And she will be talking to you guys about how to prepare a table setting for the holidays. And then we'll have our free raffles. I know some of you have brought the raffle tickets, so good job, you followed instructions. So we will be giving out free prizes this evening. Lastly, after you guys eat, and after the raffle, Earl Kapule is going to lead you guys out in a digestion walk. So we'll be going around the church maybe once or twice, five to ten minutes. So you guys are falling asleep after you eat and you're ready to hear the health message and the biblical message by Mark Fox at the church. Okay, so being that this is a uh, church and a faith-based effort, yes. All right, can everybody listen up? 
Okay, thank you. We are not only here to show you how to cook healthy. The holidays are not just about your food and your family, but it's about a time for you to recheck with yourselves, spiritually, mentally, and physically. So this is a time to really assess that. And living a healthy lifestyle is not only about the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Everybody wants to live a lifestyle, we believe, a healthy lifestyle, we believe, and um, no wonder people are concerned about their weight, depression, and the Western common diseases like diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol. So listen to today's statistics. USA Today states that heart attacks occur and peak on three days of the year. Do you know what those three days are? Can anyone take a guess? I heard Christmas. That's true. Actually, not Thanksgiving. New Year's Day. And the day after Christmas. Yes. So at this time, your risk for food poisoning peaks. And uh, we recently had a foodborne outbreak, foodborne illness outbreak. Can anyone? Recall what that was just last week? Salmonella, that's right. We had about 317 cases as of last Friday. And guess where 72% of those cases are? What state? California. California, right here. So to avoid any of the, um, the chicken from Foster Farms, this is a completely meatless, dairy-free, cholesterol cholesterol-free meal that you're going to have. So that's what you'll find here. And um, I also have in the front of your cookbooks one take-home verse that all of you should um, keep close to your hearts. It's from 1 Corinthians 6, verses 19 through 20. It reads, Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? whom you have from God, and you are not your own. For you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. All right, so we hope you enjoy your time here. If you have any questions during any point of this class, please feel free to ask us. This can be as interactive as you want it to be. And we also have an email help to him, that's help with the number two, him at gmail.com. You can email us your questions there. And you can also like us at Facebook at help to him. So thank you so much. Enjoy yourselves and have a happy holidays. And we're going to start off with our first chef. And it is in the same order as your cookbook. So if you follow along and take notes.
because they're orange, I guess they have, along with sweet potatoes and butternut squash, they have beta carotene. And they uh, can help be wrinkle free skin. And then, of course, uh, high in amino acid tryptophan, which is good for uh, getting your, your uh, sleep and serotonin levels. You can see that at any time because of the extra points here. <clears throat> And it's high in potassium, twice as much as uh, bananas, equal amount of bananas. Everybody knows that bananas are high in potassium, but these are twice as much. Can we get everybody's attention? Some people are having a hard time hearing, so quiet. everybody can please be quiet. Thank you. Okay, and it also is very high in, in uh, vitamin C, uh, significantly high in vitamin C. Um, now, this is, this is the, uh, okay, so that's, that's about pumpkins.
most of the people for the highly special Thanksgiving, they buy the cranberry sauce that comes in a can. But if you see the ingredients that are loaded with sugar, because cranberries tend to be sour. Uh, it's a very simple recipe. Uh, all you need to do is just make sure to buy very good fresh cranberries. And you don't need to add any sugar. Uh, all you need to do is just cook the cranberries in either apple juice, pineapple juice, and a little bit of orange juice. And if you want the sweet taste, then all you need to do is add apple sauce to your taste. This recipe, I got it from this uh, famous cook, but I modify it. And one thing I'm going to be telling you is, I added half a cup of water for this one, but I made another one that I didn't, because I noticed that if you add water, it is going to be sour. So, I didn't put uh, the water in the second one that I made, just so that I can use it with extra and then you can add honey to your taste, that instead of the sugar. And at the end, when, it's, when all the cranberries are popped, what you need to do is add, I add half a cup of raisins. And that helps to minimize the plastic. So it's really, really good. And for my special candle, this is a very simple recipe. The only thing that is not really so healthy about this recipe is just a special case cereal, because that's what you get. But you can modify it also, like I do sometimes at home. Instead of that, you can use cornmeal. Uh, with cornmeal, instead of the uh, special case cereal, you have to be careful to get organic. And I added tofu, extra firm tofu and organic. Why organic? Because unfortunately, 93% uh, and up of our soybean is GMO. And genetically modified organisms, and we don't want that in our system. So you need to pay a little bit extra, but you are feeding your body something really good. And tofu is really amazing. To me, I love tofu in many different dishes. It's the Asian cheese, really. Uh, extra firm because tofu is really soft. And the only secret for this is you just get the tofu and squeeze the juice in a cheese plug as much as you can. So that way it won't be really soft. So that's it. Thank you. All right, the next recipe, turn to your next page. I made the tofu turkey.
not too high. Um, another one is, I think that's it, yeah, those are the two hardest things when you're really making the tofu jerky. Um, the sage in here, there's a lot of sage in this recipe. I really like the flavor of the stuffing. Sage is, oh, all the herbs in here are good for antioxidants. You want to stay up with those uh, herbs, the leaves of the herbs. Nutritional yeast flakes is on there. Instead of putting salt, I put nutritional yeast flakes. You get it at Sprouts or Whole Foods. That's a substitute for uh, salt, for flavor. It's kind of a cheesy flavor, but you can put a lot of that because it's very low in sodium. So I, I put some nutritional yeast flakes in there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the tofu turkey. Right, good evening. Okay. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Frank Spurgeon. I have two recipes here. Give me a book. I have mashed potatoes. And as you can see, the recipe is pretty simple. You boil your mashed potatoes and when you drink them out in your pot, you put them in your pot and mash them with uh, coconut oil, is what I use. But for nutrition, it says that about potatoes have uh, vitamin B6 and they have magnesium. And uh, substantially, they have about uh, 85 milligrams of magnesium. And over 300 biological processes in our body are said to be dependent on magnesium. Basically, magnesium supports nerve function and allows our muscles to uh, relax and as well promotes uh, calcium absorption for strong and healthy bones. And uh, when you're making mashed potatoes, you have to know that it has all these things in it, but that's one raw potato that has it in there. So if, how many of you out there like french fries? No? No? Okay, guess what? You just chose your potato. <laughs> so, the best way to keep the nutrition value of potatoes is to boil and bake it and make it mashed potatoes or bake. And what's bad about your potatoes is not what's in it, but what you add to it. And also, I also have a recipe for basic gravy. As you can see on the basic gravy on the bottom, you take all your ingredients that are on there, in there, and you put them in your blender. And your cashews, your everything that goes in there. I use the chicken-like uh, flavoring, you can get that either at uh, Sprouts. I get mine at the Adventist Book Center over in National City. You can get it there or any other place. And you put all these ingredients, and when you blend it, make sure it says here that you blend it for at least three minutes. Because you want to run it between your fingers until you feel no grit in there. Because if not, your gravy will come out very grainy. Okay? And actually, it says on here, on my, on my health benefit for cashews, it says that it's actually the seed of the, ca uh, the cashew fruit. And that's what it has. And it also contains uh, butter copper. And the copper found in cashew is vital for the function and enzymes of involved in combining collagen, can I mean, your collagen, and elastin providing substance and flexibility to your bones and your joints. So cashews are good for you. And that pretty much covered my recipe. Well, when you come up, hope you enjoy the magic My name is Eugene Bartlett, and uh, I made the candy yams. Uh, since I was a baker most of my life, I like to uh, define the amounts a little better than this recipe does. It says four large sweet potatoes. Actually, I used yams this time. Um, and since there are about twice as much to buy, I bought smaller ones. One of the supermarkets had a special one. Um, but by the time you peel them and cut them up, it really doesn't matter a little bit, as long as you can figure out how much. Another thing that was on here, the, it says the orange juice of a half an orange. Well, I've seen some very small oranges, and I've seen some nice big oranges, and some of them are dry, and some of them have a lot of juice. And so uh, I put one, uh, one tablespoon of lemon juice it calls for. I made four tablespoons of uh, orange juice to go with that. Uh, usually when you put marshmallows on top of the candy yams, you can buy some miniature marshmallows. And these uh, candies do not come in a miniature, so I cut them. And that's a little bit tedious. Usually they're, they're a little bit sticky, but a little bit of cornstarch to keep it from sticking in your fingers and everything. Uh, this recipe does not have any salt in it. That's the way I made it. 
but I suspect that if you'd like to experiment a little bit, just a tiny bit of salt would actually improve the flavor. Mine is a simple recipe, and my turn is easier than others because what you heard now at the beginning about pumpkins is the same nutrition in this acorn squash that you find in a pumpkin. So I don't need to go over all that technical data, you probably forgot it already. <laughs> but there's a lot of vitamins, there's good fiber in here, and I think the most important thing to remember about what you do with this vegetable is eat the whole thing. So when I prepare it, cut it in half, I do scoop the insides out, and you could actually use that if you blended it. I didn't do that. And I make sure on the end of the squash, I cut that little nib out, so that you don't take the filling out when you're eating this dish, and where the coarse stem is, I make sure I cut that all the way and around inside so that you don't come across a really hard piece of stem. Other than that, if you read the recipe, it's pretty simple. And so I don't need to really go over it with you, except to say, come over and try it. And yes, for Christmas, I put brown sugar in it. So at least it's brown sugar, it's not entirely white. But if you use a concentrate of, I think, any sweetened product outside of the package it comes in, you're still elevating your sugar content in your bloodstream. I chose to do it with brown sugar. Hi, um, I'm Anasa, and so along with some other people, my mom and my mom and um, we made pumpkin pie, and but anyways, um, pumpkin pie basically the main ingredient is pumpkin, we can assume, and as I talked about it down there, pumpkin has a lot of minerals and a lot of vitamin A, so that's good. But um, a major part of this pumpkin pie was actually tofu. And I think a lot of people are kind of scared to eat something when they hear tofu because, let's be honest here, some people don't really like tofu. They think it tastes bad. But if you make tofu um, the right way, it can actually taste pretty well. Tofu is really, really great for you. It's a great meat substitute, but you can also put it in desserts like pumpkin pie. It lowers high cholesterol, um, and it actually lowers your risk of cancer along with alleviating the symptoms that menopause. So tofu is really good for you. Along with the pumpkin pie, we have different spices like um, nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, clove, which are all really great for you. Um, we have vanilla, organic vanilla extract in the pies. Vanilla extract alleviates anxiety. Um, it's really known for aromatherapy. So vanilla is really great for that. Besides that, it has a lot of antioxidants and um, it helps reduce free radicals. Free radicals are bad for your skin, and they actually can cause cancer um, in some cases. Also, vanilla, I, I didn't know this, is actually really good for weight loss. So if you get you know, those organic products, um, such as vanilla, it's really, really good for you. So basically, the main ingredients in here were pumpkin and tofu, you know, with um, the vanilla and the other spices. And of course, since it is dessert, you're going to have a, a little bit of sugar in there. But um, you can't buy organic sugar, and in our case, we use brown sugar. So.
So, um, do you guys have any questions to any one of us about the recipe? Yes.